expanded notation with decimals. Now, I suppose it would behoove us to review just a little bit about expanded notation. If I asked you to write 560 in expanded notation, what did that look like? Wait, it was. Plus 6 times 10. 6 times 10. Perfect. Well, now we are adding on their decimals. Let's say I have then 0.08 as my decimal. Here is the way that works. Well, we've already got the 560, so we just need to add that 0.08. Well, that is an 8 in what place value? It's not the hundred. It's the hundred. Well, and the way you need to write it is you need to put it in fraction form. It's eight in the one one hundredths place. Okay, you need to do a fraction with that. I don't want to see this. Don't put this because it'll be wrong. Don't put eight times point oh one. I want it to put in a fraction form, whatever it is. So let's say it is 3,000.762. It would look like this, 3 times 1,000 plus a 7 in the tenths place, 7 times 1 tenth, plus 6 times 1 in the hundredths place, plus a 2 in the one thousandths place. Make sure you use fractions for that. That's where I see most people going wrong. They don't want 0 0.01 or 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Got that? Perfect. Now, take out your notes under decimals. For this one, for those of you who are